Let's see if we can write 21 sixtieths as a decimal. And I'll give you a little hint. See if you can rewrite this as a fraction with 100 as the denominator. Or another way to say it, another way to say it, see if you can rewrite this so it's a certain number of hundredths and then you can represent that as a decimal. So we've done this before. We can rewrite a fraction. We can get an equivalent fraction if we either multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same quantity or we divide the numerator and the denominator by the same quantity. And this numerator and this denominator, it looks pretty clear. 21 is divisible by 3 and 7 and 1 and 21. And 60 is clearly divisible by 3 as well. It's not divisible by 7 or 21. Well, of course, it's divisible by 1, but that doesn't really help you much. So let's see if we can rewrite this, maybe with lower numbers, where we divide both the numerator and the denominator by that common factor of 3. So we're dividing by 3. So I'm just rewriting this as an equivalent fraction that might make it a little bit easier for our heads to get around it. So 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7. And 60 divided by 3 is equal to 20. So we've rewritten 21 sixtieths as 7 twentieths. So you might be saying, Sal, why did you even do this? Did, aren't we trying to get it in terms of hundredths? Well, this was kind of a, this one helped simplify it in my brain a little bit. And what's extra good about writing it as 7 twentieths is that it's, much, it's easy to go from 20 to 100. To go from 20 to 100, we just have to multiply by 5. Well, if each section is going to be 5 times as many, then these se seven sections are going to be 5 times as many. So once again, we're multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. And so this is going to be equal to 35 over 100 or 35 hundredths. 35, let me write it a little bit. 35 hundredths, which is what we wanted to do. We wanted to rewrite this in terms of hundredths. And what is 35 hundredths? Well, let's just remind ourselves. When we're writing a decimal, that's the ones place. That's the ones place. This right over here, this next place is the tenths place. That's the tenths place. And the next place is the hundredths place is the hundredths, hundredths place. And so 35 hundredths, well, you could write that like this. You could write that as 35 hundredths. So you could literally write this as 0 0.35. And you might say, wait, wait, you put a 3 in the tenths place. Why is this 35 hundredths? I get that this is 5 hundredths, but why is this 35 hundredths? Well, 3 tenths is 30 hundredths. So this is 35 hundredths. Or another way of thinking about it, you could rewrite this right over here. You could rewrite this as being equal to 30, 30 over 100, 30 over 100, plus 5 over 100, plus 5 over 100. And, how can, and what is 30 over 100 if you wanted to rewrite it in terms of tenths? Well, you could just divide the numerator and the denominator by 10, divide by 10, and you would get 3 tenths, 3 tenths plus 5 one hundredths, plus 5 one hundredths. And we see that right over here. 3 tenths, that's the tenths place, plus 5 one hundredths, that's the hundredths place. Or this is sometimes referred to as 35 hundredths, 35 hundredths.